They're the brave men and women who run toward the very dangerous situations our human nature typically tells us to run away from. DeKalb's first responders accepted a call to serve, to protect, and save lives. That's their job, but even when they're not serving as our front line of defense, we found they still go the extra mile whether they're on or off the clock. A big, great, big, great, big, great, big hug. As he's done for nearly nine years as a firefighter for DeKalb, Tad Landau responded to an emergency call. The call was for 88-year-old Mary Wood. It was a call that would change both Wood and Landau's lives forever. When we got there, she came to the door and advised that she wasn't hurt and didn't need 911. She was on her knees at the screen, the screen door was still closed, and you could just tell that something wasn't right. Turns out, Wood did not want to allow the first responders into the small apartment she called home for 30 years. Fearful they might detect the obvious, she was all alone and was hoarding stacks of items she collected over the past three decades. She had a ton of clutter in the apartment. Uh, there were very tight passageways to get around and the apartment was extremely warm. And uh, she, she informed me that she didn't have working air conditioning, which I found Astonishing, because it was 90 degrees outside on this day. It had to be well over 100 inside her apartment. Fast forward nearly two years, and Landau and the entire team at DeKalb Fire Station Number 1 have sort of adopted wood into their family. Here's, uh, here's today's paper. Here's your TV section, okay? In addition to cleaning out her apartment and securing air conditioning to make the hot Georgia summers more bearable, they make sure she has and takes her medicine, and even that she has groceries and a meal in her stomach in order to do right. so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit your sandwich down, okay? Yeah, but now you know you got to wait a half hour. I, know, you know. I hear from her every morning uh, when she wakes up, and I hear from her every night before she goes to bed, and uh, I, stop, I try and stop by there. I try and stop by a few times a week. I mean, it's the best thing that could ever happen to me. I want to stay in this place. I don't want to move from here. I like this place. With money from their own pockets and compassion in their hearts, Tad and Fire Station One responded not just to a 911 call, but also this senior's needs for a quality of life. While exceptional, this level of service in DeKalb County is not an isolated occurrence. Actually, it's the norm. Thank you so very much for your actions that day. You helped to save Michael's life. Across town, one of DeKalb's finest also went above and beyond the call of duty when he happened to drive past a vehicle pulled over to the side of the road at the end of his shift. And there was a car sitting on the side of the road, and as much as I wanted to drive by it, I couldn't. It was 4.40 a.m. the morning of July 12th of last year. 50-year-old Michael Mason was en route to work at Home Depot when he maneuvered his car to the side of the road upon falling violently ill. Disoriented and confused, he called his parents, refusing to leave the scene until they arrived. Officer T.J. Shalott, however, had a different plan after assessing Mason's physical state. Michael was worried after the ambulance got there and we weren't there that they would take him away before we got there and that would make it even worse for us and Officer Chalet said he would wait there for us if we weren't there by the time. Officer Shalott did just that. After calling the paramedics and convincing Mason he should be checked out immediately, he waited there for his parents and even accompanied them to Emory University Hospital during what the Masons call one of the most frightening moments of their lives. He had three blood clots and they were able to dissolve those blood clots, but they did go ahead and do a catheterization to, to determine what the real problem was, but they recognized the fact that he had had a heart attack. According to cardiologists, time was key in saving Mason's life, precious time that this nearly four-year veteran saved by thinking quickly and getting Mason the medical attention he so desperately needed, but didn't quite realize at the time. He did mention the officer using good judgment and assessing the situation as quickly as he did 
probably could have saved Mike's life. So we'll, you know, we'll be always thankful to that officer for what, <clears throat> for what he did. Thank God for the policeman. I knew why he made the comment, that it could have gone the other way just as well. What Officer Shalott did next when he noticed Michael Mason's car along the same path early in the morning en route to his Home Depot job months later really demonstrates this officer's dedication to the lives he serves. He recognized the car and pulled him over and Michael says to him, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the officer said, no, aren't you the one that I helped? or came upon back in the summer and sent to Emory and Michael said, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's how concerned he was. He remembered that incident. He's just a good policeman and a good human being. Examples of excellence in customer service extend into all departments in DeKalb County government, such as here at the Lou Walker Senior Center, where on March 25th, the center received a frantic call from the daughter of one of the center's members. She was calling all the way from Michigan. The daughter was panicking because her mother was having a stroke and she was all the way up in Michigan. So she called here from the Walker Center and Lathonia Bradford answered the phone. She was so hysterical that she couldn't remember her mom's address, so she knew her mom attends the facility here and asked us if we could please call 911 because her mom needed medical attention. And um, we looked at her information in our um, database and found her information, called 911. Well, what Lafonia Bradford did is what the CEO has been talking about for many years, is customer service, excellence, but taking action. So she took action. She called 911, got 911 on the phone with a three-way call with the daughter in Michigan. They ended up having a break into the woman's house to save her life. From saving lives to improving the quality of life, DeKalb County employees are public servants who continually go the extra mile. From serving up service with a smile in water billing. Well, it's kind of personal, you know, between the customer and the employees. It was very good. No waiting time, and that was good. To efficient curbside service for trash collection and recycling. In DeKalb County, excellence is not just a saying, but a way of doing each and every assignment well. Well, almost 7,000 employees serving 700,000 customers, the residents who live in DeKalb County. Um, at a time when, because of the economy, we have to be smarter, we have to be more efficient, and we have to deliver good customer service. And so, in order to do that, it doesn't just happen you have to work at it. Indeed, excellent customer service has been not the exception, but the expectation of all employees of the cab, as evidenced in this two-day retreat for senior staffers. Oh, it's, it's tremendously important that uh, titles are left at the door because as any good and winning team does, uh, they recognize the value of each player, each member of the team adds value. Um, so there are no superstars on this team. Everyone has a role to play and we all have a collective re responsibility to support one another in achieving our individual and collective goals. That's also the reason the One DeKalb Serves initiative includes acknowledgments of DeKalb's most valuable assets, its employees, such as the 47 men and women honored this year for their dedication to excellence in customer service. Well, we always want to weave into all the work that we do, uh, opportunities to stop and recognize the good that work, work that we're doing. It was always being translated for the citizens. It, it doesn't matter that we're working. If people don't understand that we're working, how hard we're working, and that we're paying attention to their needs and their desires. From first responders to those tasked with maintaining the critical essentials of daily life, DeKalb County employees senior staffers and indeed the administration serve all of DeKalb County, operating under the service standards of one vision of excellence, one code of compassion, one calling to serve. One DeKalb serves excellence in customer service.